The Big Red Tractor and the Little Village. Once upon a time, in a little field, in a happy little village, lived a big red tractor. Every morning during plowing season, the village people, no, not those village people, would come out and start the red tractor. Everyone loved the tractor and the powerful noises it would make. They would cheer for the big red tractor because he would help them through plowing season. The people worked together to move the tractor. Half of the villagers would push from behind, while the other half would pull. They had been doing it this way for many generations. Some days they moved the tractor ten feet. Some days they moved it twenty. They did this for three whole months every year. Because of their hard work, the villagers always managed to plow the field, just in time to plant. And just before the rainy season, the rains would come to water the field. Then the sun would come out to make the crops grow, and then the people would come out and harvest all the new crops. It was just enough food to feed the entire village. One day, Farmer Dave was cleaning out his attic. To his surprise, he found an old book tucked beneath his great grandpa's belongings. It was the owner's manual to the big red tractor. This book told about how the tractor was made and all the great things it could do. Farmer Dave studied the book all night. He was shocked by what he was reading. According to the book, if the big red tractor was running properly, it could plow the whole field in just one day. Early the next morning, Farmer Dave gathered the villagers to tell them the good news, but nobody believed him. There's no way that tractor can move on its own. Some said. One lady said, "It sounds like you're reading a fairy tale." The people laughed at him. This made Farmer Dave very sad. This didn't stop Farmer Dave from believing what he read. Every night, while the other villagers were asleep, Farmer Dave spent time repairing the big red tractor. One night, Farmer Dave fixed the tractor completely. He jumped on the tractor and had so much fun driving it. He ended up plowing the whole field in one night. The next morning, the villagers woke up and were in shock. The whole field had been plowed. It's a miracle, one man said. Maybe aliens came down, said an old woman. No, look over there, a little boy shouted. It was Farmer Dave sleeping on the tractor. It was then that the people shouted. He was right. The tractor book is true. The villagers ended up plowing many fields that year, and harvesting way more food than they could ever eat. They had so many leftover boxes of food that they began taking the boxes to other villages where food was scarce. The big red tractor and his little village soon became famous throughout the land. They became known as the most generous and life-giving people in the whole wide 